Good evening, Broncos. Welcome to this edition of U Central News. I'm Miracle Garrett. And I'm CJ Craig. And it is finally time for the Oklahoma State Fair, and they have started welcoming in thousands of people today. U Central's Georgia Jones is out there on the scene. Georgia, how's it looking out there? Today is opening day here at the Oklahoma State Fair. Attracting almost a million people a year, this fair isn't one that you'll want to miss. With dozens of rides, tons of games, endless food options, and fun animals, there's something for everyone here at the fair. And what is both of your guys' favorite thing about the State Fair? My favorite thing is just the atmosphere of being back in Oklahoma since I am an Okie. After 30 years, this is my first time back, so I just love the atmosphere. My favorite thing is there's a yummy treat that only shows up at the State Fair and it's called the Indian Taco. And that's my, yeah, that's we're here right now. <laughs> Indian Taco. Hey, thank you very much. This fair is going to be running until September 24th. She'll make sure to come by, bring your friends and family, enjoy a turkey leg or two, and try and win a prize. This is Georgia Jones, U Central News. That's right, and one of the best things about the State Fair is just being able to go out there and experience some nice weather, and we've been seeing some nice weather. Mm -hmm, of course, can't wait for those temperatures to come down. Jules, what is it looking like? Thank you, Miracle. Thank you, CJ, and happy Thursday, UCO family. My name is Jules Black, and I'm here to give you your first look at weather. So right now we're sitting at 73 degrees. It is cloudy outside, but we are seeing some sun peek through those clouds, and we did see some drizzle happen throughout the day. Our winds are sitting about southeast, nine miles per hour, um, so we do feel that cool breeze hitting us when we step outside. Uh, humidity rate is going to be 76 percent, so it's making it feel a bit higher than it actually is, 77. Later tonight, we have, it's going to cool down, 62 degrees. Um, it is going to be cloudy tonight, um, and those winds are going to calm down east, running east three to six miles per hour. That humidity rate is going to stay about the same, and we do have a chance of rain, 20 percent, so don't forget your umbrella if you're going out tonight. And that's all I have for you right now. I'll give it back to the desk. Thank you, Jules. And there is a major weather story we are following on the eastern side of the country right now. Hurricane Lee was releasing strong winds on Bermuda Thursday. This is just before a track that would bring heavy rain, wind, and coastal flooding from the massive storm to coastal New England and Atlantic Canada Friday and through the weekend. Lee is expected to be far enough away from the east coast to avoid delivering a substantial blow to the inland area of New England. And search and rescue crews from around the world are arriving to help with the grim task of recovering bodies in eastern Libya to find survivors from the catastrophic flooding. It has now claimed more than 11,000 lives, with another estimated 10,000 people missing. This CNN footage shows the devastating flood that wiped out a quarter of the eastern city of Derna, caused by the collapse of two major dams from heavy rains. In about a year, UCO students will be getting ready to vote in the presidential election. But there are many topics important to them right now, from abortion to tuition costs. Um, I think, you know, that there are rights guaranteed to Americans that are being threatened for the sake of um, a political agenda rather than uh, for the betterment of our society as a whole. As, you know, I think um, both abortion rights and the rights of transgender individuals are both kind of coming into play right now in a lot of bills that we're seeing come across the table. And not only that, but it's really the rights of everyone that's ever been historically marginalized or disenfranchised. Um, so just again, human rights, but in terms of what that equality really looks like. So just kind of treating people like people, I guess you could say. I mean, to the students on campus, I think the most political, like, government thing that we need to worry about right now is student debt forgiveness. You know, like, everybody here, or most people here, have student debt in some sort of way, some sort of fashion. And it's just, you know, something that we uh, really need to work on and just uh, get it out, you know? Just. Between the status of student loans to those of human rights, it is obvious that the upcoming presidential election will play a huge role in the lives of students. And flu season is approaching fast, and UCL faculty and staff and students will have an opportunity to get vaccines soon. UCL will host an on-campus flu clinic in the Nye University Center next Thursday and Friday from 9 to 3 p.m. Vaccinations will be provided for free to anyone with a health insurance card. Limited vaccinations will be available for free for uninsured members of the UCL community. 
Walk-in appointments are accepted, but pre-registration is highly recommended. And tonight, there will be a showcase of talent, culture, and entertainment as UCO's Black Student Association hosts an event called Intros. U Central's Shanice Hopkins has the details. Hello everyone, I'm currently at Constitutional Hall where one of the most anticipated events of the semester will be taking place. Every year, Black Student Association hosts intros, a night of talent showcasing the many organizations that students can get involved with. A couple of organizations performing tonight include NAACP, Central Chaos, and a number of multicultural Greek organizations and more. I'm currently here with Vice President Malaya Fails. Malaya, tell me, what is BSA's vision to unite multicultural organizations and BSA together? This year, BSA plans to collaborate with NAACP, HASA, and other multicultural orgs on campus. Our events are open to all cultural groups, and we look forward to seeing all you guys there. Well, you guys heard it here tonight at 7 p.m. Intros is taking place. Tickets are still only $5 and will raise to 10 at 7.30. This is not an event that you're going to want to miss. I'm Shanice Hopkins. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Shanice. And for Edmond residents, water rates will be going up. Currently, the base rate is $16.05, and over the next few years, rates will go up more than $2. The higher rates will help pay for water system improvements, and customers will start to see the change on their bills starting in November. And speaking of November, it's starting to feel more and more like fall across campus. Will the temperatures stick around for the weekend? Mm -hmm. Jules Black will have your full weather update whenever we come back. I was raised to believe in the power of possibility, to always move forward, but never forget where I came from, to value hard work, ingenuity, and hospitality. On one hand, my people are rough and rugged. On the other, refined and elegant. They taught me how to love beautiful things and cherish my past, to seek out adventure, eat well, and to have a good time. So I keep their traditions alive every place I go. They call me Oklahoma City, but you can call me the modern frontier. Central News as a whole, you got to be in those different areas, like being on camera, being off camera, being in the control room. And so I feel like that is what prepared me most about being in the workplace. U Central and the Mass Comm Department has provided me all the tools and the fundamentals that are needed in order to thrive well and thrive fast at my job. Maybe it's time to hit the road and visit a place where stories unfold. This is the land of the ultimate road trip with sights old and new on Route 66. There's fun to be had, so much to do, and a few new surprises before you get through. Oklahoma has the most miles to share of Route 66. It's really quite rare. TravelOK.com will show you the way. Come see for yourself this iconic highway. Um, right now, I'm going to go ahead and give you your statewide current conditions. Starting in the Panhandle, we have 65 in Guymon. Um, in western Oklahoma, we see Woodward 70, Clinton 67, and Altus 70. Um, in central Oklahoma, we see 79, or not 79, yeah, 79 in Ponca City, 72 in Enid, and OKC a little cooler, 60, 69. Um, Lawton, Ardmore, and McAllister are all sitting at 71. And when, and when we get to eastern Oklahoma, it's a bit warmer up here. Um, 81 in Miami, 80 in Tulsa, and 73 down in Idabel. Um, tomorrow, we're going to look at our highs. 80 in Miami again, 80 in Tulsa, and 82 in Idabel. Um, in central Oklahoma, we see Ponca City is going to be 76, um, 74 in Enid, 75 OKC. Um, Lawton and Ardmore City and McAllister all sitting a bit high, and Altus, 79, 79. Um, that's not right. Um, Woodward is a 73 and 75 in Guymon in the Panhandle. Um, now we're going to look at our seven-day forecast. Um, Thursday, today is going to be sitting at 671 with a 40% chance of rain we saw. Um, heading into tomorrow, we'll see a 
chance of thunderstorms going into Saturday as well, um, sitting at 76 and 77. Um, those lo lows are going to be 63 and 59. Um, going into the weekend more is Sunday. We're going to sit at 82. It's going to be uh, partly cloudy, so it's going to be mostly clear. Um, no chances of rain yet. Um, and going into Monday next week, it's going to be really sunny, actually. 84 going back into those 80s. And Tuesday, we have a 40% chance of rain. It's going to be mostly clear, mostly sunny, um, with 82 and that low of 64. Um, in Wednesday, we're going to go ahead and see a 78, getting, getting higher and then getting cooler um, throughout the week. But we do see a 40% chance of rain and those clouds in the sky. Um, that is all I have for you right now. I'm going to give it to the desk. Thank you, Jules. And coming up after the break, a famous comedian has announced that he's about to go on tour again. And coming up, Perla Tovar has your latest on social media. achieve a lot using your imagination. <laughs> I mean, I don't like to brag, but... Wait, who's that? And why is she all over these achievement awards? But with STEM, the sky's the limit. Shaboom! Use STEM to envision... Okay, I'm seeing it. Yeah. Invent... Got any ideas? I've got a few, actually. And create a better world. Told you she's super smart. If she can STEM, so can you. Find out more at She Can STEM. In the land of wonder and awe, you won't believe you see what you saw. Where there's something to do for young and for old, where stories are written and then they're retold. Visit TravelOK.com today. Come see for yourself and come out to play. Welcome back Broncos, I'm Perla Tovar with all of your social media updates. I don't know about you guys, but I am in love with Olivia Rodrigo's new album, Guts. Olivia announced her world tour dates on an Instagram post Wednesday morning and it looks like Oklahoma has made the cut. For this major concert announcement, Oklahoma City turned the skyline and other areas purple all across downtown to get everyone hyped for her announcement. Olivia will be bringing her Guts World Tour to the Paycom Center on July 27th, 2024 with special guest Pink Panthers. You can register now to access tickets on Ticketmaster. Registration will end on Sunday. And other exciting news is Paycom has planned for this year is American comedian Adam Sandler's I've Missed You Tour is coming to Oklahoma City on Saturday, December 9th. People can ex expect a good laugh and a good time. Tickets will go on sale this Friday at noon on Ticketmaster. Other local news is earlier today, the Oklahoma City Police Department released live footage of a stolen vehicle collision on Twitter. 
The Oklahoma City Police Department attempted to stop the 17-year-old suspect who was driving a stolen truck. But the suspect and other I had other ideas and rammed into an officer's car. Suspect eventually took off running on foot to a nearby field and hid in tall grass. Suspect is officially in custody. And last but not least, Amazon Prime will be releasing an Amazon original tomorrow to coincide with Hispanic Heritage Month called A Million Miles Away. Story is inspired by the real life story of NASA flight engineer, Jose Hernandez. Here's the trailer. I wanted this for almost 30 years. Every decision I've made, I've made with the space program in mind. Those people who got into the program, what do they have that you don't? Tenacity is a superpower. Who better to leave this planet and dive into the unknown than a migrant farm worker? That's all I have for today. Hope you guys have a great day and back to you guys at the desk. Thanks, Perla. And the UCO volleyball team's hot start continues tonight and the soccer team looks to bounce back. Plus, a preview of college football in NFL Week 2. Mark Lowe has a sports rundown right after the break. Feel the beat of nature at a park or forest near you. Find a forest and music inspired by nature at discovertheforest.org. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. Welcome back Broncos, I'm Mark Lowe and this is your Thursday Sports Report. The UCO volleyball team's hot streak stayed strong on Tuesday as they took down Oklahoma Baptist in three sets. The Lady Cho season picks up tonight as they start conference play when they take on Newman here in Edmond at the Hamilton Fieldhouse at 6 p.m. Newman comes into the matchup winless and are looking to get their first win against the 25th ranked Broncos. All I can say is good luck. The Broncos are off to the hottest start in the MIAA and are showing no signs of slowing down. Roll Cho's. UCO's soccer team has had a bit of a slow start compared to the volleyball teams, but they look to turn things around tonight when they visit Newman. Thankfully, Newman's women's soccer team is in the same boat, sitting at 1-4 on the season. The Broncos look to bounce back after a 1-2 loss to Oklahoma Baptist last Saturday, and Newman looks to find the win column once again. Tonight's matchup starts conference play for both teams and looks to be like a good test for each, but in the end, I feel like the Broncos will walk away with the win against the Jets. Good luck to our Lady Chos. Moving on to the football field, week three of college football is upon us, and this week has some promising matchups. Last week, we saw quite a few great matchups like the slugfest between Baylor and Utah and what some are calling the end of a dynasty as Alabama fell to Texas. This week is a bit more of a breather for teams before they move on to conference play next week. A few games to watch will be number 20 North Carolina as they take on Minnesota, Bedlam in the state of Colorado, and Oklahoma when they make a trip to Tulsa. 
This matchup will be one to watch and should be a great test to see just how serious Oklahoma is this year. And speaking of Oklahoma, one former OU quarterback is taking the field tonight on Thursday Night Football in the latest edition of a great rivalry. The Minnesota Vikings set sail to Philadelphia to face off against last season's NFC champion, the Eagles. Both teams had some thrillers last week in the season openers with the Vikings facing off against former OU quarterback and Heisman winner Baker Mayfield and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Vikings came up short in that game and looked to bounce back against Jalen Hurts Eagles, who got a gritty win in New England last Sunday and spoiled Tom Brady's return to Gillette Stadium. In all, it should be a great game to kick off week two of the NFL. The action starts at 7 p.m. tonight on Amazon Prime. CJ Miracle, you guys going to watch the game tonight? And if you are, who do you have walking away with a win? Oh, yes, I definitely plan on watching that game tonight. It's going to be a really good game. If I had to choose one, as much as it hurts my soul to do it, i got to <laughs> go with the Eagles. Well, I will not be catching that game tonight, but coming up next, we have something that may surprise you. And we'll take one last look at weather, so don't go anywhere. I'm so sorry, I didn't know what to say. Feel the beat of nature at a park or forest near you. Find a forest and music inspired by nature at discovertheforest.org. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. Welcome back, Broncos. And we have a couple of special announcements we want to make on this edition. Uh, we have two very special people who are watching the show right now. Uh, Emma Birch, one of our anchors on Monday and Wednesday, is currently out with wisdom teeth surgery. So, Emma, we pray that you will make a speedy recovery and you come back and join us pretty soon. Yes, Emma, we wish you well and a speedy recovery. And in even better news, one of my favorite Virgos here in studio, it is his birthday. So we want to give a special shout out to Mark Lowe. And Let's take a look at that picture right there. That is definitely the face of you Central right there. That is a man who <laughs> takes the show right on his shoulders and carries it. So yes, happy birthday, Mark. Mark. Happy birthday. Let's toss it to Jules Lowe and see how those temperatures are. And wrap up our weather look um, with our he weather headlines. So again, it was a very gloomy week. Um, we saw a lot of rain, and but we are going to see a lot warmer temperatures this weekend. Um, we do have a pos some possible chances of thunderstorms, um, not any severe thunderstorms, but um, you just want to be safe when you go out um, and watch the weather. Um, and then finally, our fun fact of the day is that tomorrow is the start of Latinx Heritage Month. Um, UCO's Hispanic American Student Association is going to have a whole bunch of um, fun uh, events going on. So stay tuned for you Central um, to check out those events. Um, that's really all I have here. I would like to say I'm so very excited for the OKC State Fair and I hope the weather stays clear for when I go. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to give it back to the desk. 
Thank you, Jules. And the State Fair, it's just always such a great time to go every year. You know, you got the fried food, the fattening food there. It tastes <laughs> the best, best in Oklahoma right there. Plus, you get a bunch of fun rides. Yeah, what's one of your favorite rides? Uh, one of my favorite rides, I'd have to say the uh, sock slide, you know, the big yes. metal slide that you go down yes. with the sock. I the think safest thing you, that you the could The safest thing. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm more of a thrill seeker. I know there's people out there like me. I just want to get on probably the most dangerous ride that goes the highest and spins the fastest. Spins the fastest. Mm -hmm. So kind of like an adrenaline junkie kind Absolutely. of. Absolutely. Love it. Like, love it. And some food. I, that's what I want to do. At the fair, I want to get scared and eat food. Yes, that is definitely the thing to do at the fair. <laughs> However, that's all the time we have for this edition of U Central News. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm CJ Craig. I'm Miracle Gary, and you guys have a great night.